What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next example. This is a pretty cool one. So we're told x squared plus y squared is equal to 20 and xy is equal to two. And then with that information, we have to find the value of x plus y squared and then x minus y squared. So notice that these here are perfect square trinomials. So for example, this x plus y squared, what we can do is expand it. And the reason why is because notice that with what we're given right now, this x squared plus y squared equals 20 and then x, y is equal to two, we can't plug in any of those expressions here because here it's just x plus y, right? Versus over here, it's x squared plus y squared. So it's a totally different expression here versus what's in the bracket. So we can't just plug in 20 in the bracket and then x, y is equal to two. Notice there's no x, y over here. But notice that if we take this and expand it, what are we going to end up with? We'll end up with x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, right? We would have xy plus xy, and that would simplify the 2xy. And now notice we can plug stuff in because this over here, we can rearrange as x squared plus y squared plus 2xy just to show it more clearly. And notice that for this x squared plus y squared, we know that that's equal to 20. And then notice over here, this xy is equal to two. And then we're multiplying by the two over here. And so we'd end up with 20 plus four, which would give us 24. So that's what the value of x plus y squared is equal to if x squared plus y squared is equal to 20 and x y is equal to two. So the trick of this is to recognize that you gotta expand this and then in that expanded form, you can then plug in values for the expressions that you were originally given. Same thing with the x minus y squared. So we gotta expand this. And what are we gonna end up with after expanding? x squared minus two x y plus y squared. And then again, we could rearrange this as x squared plus y squared minus two x y. Here for that, we know that that's equal to 20. And then we've got two times x y, which is two times two. So we'd have 20 minus four, which would give us 16. And so we end up uh, getting a value of 16 for the x minus y squared. So initially, maybe when you look at it, seems a little bit tough just more so because it's unique, but once you understand how to do it, it is not too bad. 